I love using the sweet roll, but I've got to tell you, there's another question that you have to have in addition to, yeah, it's fun, it's colorful, I like watching putts go in, all well and good. The question is, so what? How does it make me better? In fact, I got a text from a tour player yesterday who uses the sweet roll, and it, that was exactly his question. I need some drills that the sweet roll will help me with, because I need to get better, right? So what I wanna give you today are some answers to that so what question. These are some drills that uh, John McLean, who worked with us in developing the sweet roll, uses it for, and it will make us better if we use these drills in our practice, because the sweet roll is gonna help us set up perfectly for these drills. The first one is fairly simple. I'm rolling some balls down the sweet roll at the right speed, find my target, and I watch it go in. Well done, that's a lot of fun. But the second step is the most important, is I then mark at the end of the insert slide, I mark that face angle. Very important, now I know how the putter needs to be aimed in order for me to start it on the proper line. If I hit at the right speed, it's going in. The second part of that drill is it also lets me find my aiming point. And in this case, John puts a tee down uh, and he's gonna snap a chalk line, which is also a great way to do it. But when we're finished with that, uh, now we have the face angle, we have the starting point, and now we know exactly what we're gonna do. If you set this drill up around the hole a few times, um, it's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna find drills because every putt is hit with purpose. The second drill I wanna show you is really innovative, I think, because it considers a lot of things. So, I, so I'm gonna roll a ball down, find the proper line, right? And then I'm gonna roll the ball off and a couple of feet out, uh, from the uh, from the sweet roll, I stop the ball and I create a ball gate. Now let me tell you why that's critically important. I have my aiming line, I have my face line, so I can start it on that. But perhaps if the if there's a break in the putt, the gate that I'm going to hit it through is not straight off of the sweet roll. It has actually started to break a little bit. My aiming point might even be in this case the right hand tee. Well, we know what our aiming point is because we've already established that, but now the gate is gonna let me know, did I start it on the proper line? Did it start to break properly? Because if I, let's say I started on the line, but I've cut it, it's not gonna break properly. It's not gonna get through that gate. This is a tremendous drill to let me know I'm rolling it end over end, and it started to take the gravity pull a little bit toward my target, fantastic. The last one I want to show you is really critical because we simply take the kickstand off of the sweet roll, we lay it down, we hit some putts, because we know when we do that, the ball comes off of the sweet roll perfectly, rolling end over end on the proper line. That's not a question anymore. We can, we can hit it backwards if we want, or backhanded if we want to, but here's the deal. If I make this putt, it's because I have rolled it the perfect speed. Now that's a tremendous drill, right? Now we've taken a lot of the variables out. This is a perfect speed putt that I have here. I get to learn that. I can see, in some cases, I will use the sweet roll and I will make sure that my stroke is an equal distance back and through based on the color dots on there. Tremendous amount of drills and, and, and uh, purposeful practice with these few drills that I've showed you. So put the sweet roll to work for you, not just as fun and games. Put it to work for you, set up your practice station and practice with some purpose.